My job as your bishop and your pastor is help you to see yourself as God wants you to be seen. I don't care how others see you. I don't care what the newspaper forecasts about you. God sees you as a person of purpose and possibility. Yell back at me, purpose and possibility. You're not a victim. The resurrection makes you a victor. But you got to say it. The scripture says, speak those things that are not as though they are. So I have to speak. This stomach goes down in Jesus' name. Weight comes off in Jesus' name. See? Hair grows in Jesus' name. See? You got to speak those things that are not. Oh my God, I feel something right here because this is the truth though. I spoke in the atmosphere. I said in the atmosphere, I said, I believe God has made a way for us somehow to get a cost of living. Rhonda, you know you have had a cost of living increase with our staff for like five years. So I'm, I said, if we paid off the mortgage, then God's going to make a way. Now, I just stepped out. See, when you're under that anointing, I'm going to tell you now, I have stepped out and been wrong. So I just want you to know that. There's always a margin of error. So you have to, that's why I, I look at certain places in the church. I'm looking. And some of y'all are here on assignment. And some of your assignment, some of y'all are here on assignment from darkness, but some of y'all are here on assignment to push me. There's certain places, I'm not cutting y'all where they are because you might try to get to them and turn them away from me. So I got certain places in the church that I look. And I was under the anointing and I said out of nowhere, I said, the whole staff is going to get a cost of living increase this year. But because I spoke it in faith, Larry, it is occurring this week. The entire staff is getting, after five years, a cost of living increase. Somebody's got to be bold enough to say what God showed you. I wish I had some help here. Would you smack my back right now in the name of the Lord? I need somebody to believe God. If I say you're healed, you got to believe God I'm healed. If you say you're going to get a job, begin to look, step out on Monday and begin to believe I'm going to come home with a job. But you cannot walk in fear. Second point and final point is you got to walk in faith. You got to walk in faith because faith, faith does what fear says you cannot do. Did you hear me? I said walk in what? Step over what? And walk in. Rise up over. And rise up in. Faith says where there's a period, faith puts a comma. Faith says I can. Faith says, I believe the Bible in how my story ends. I'm not going to end like I feel I'm going to end. I'm going to end with victory. I'm going to end strong. I'm going to end in power. I'm going to end blessed. I'm going to end the overcomer. I'm going to end being the head and not the tail. You got to declare it over yourself.